Welcome Capricorn. Okay, so we are going to do this activation at the end of this video and go through what it is that, um, you know, why you need this activation. So please make sure you stay until the end. Okay, if there's any other videos that come up that appeal to you with the title of the activation, also go and do those. Try not to pay too much attention to the zodiac sign, okay? And um, once all these are done, if all the cards haven't come out, all the activation cards, then I will be doing extras so that everyone has the opportunity to do all the activations if they feel called to. Okay, so we're using Work Your Light Oracle cards, and this is um, the activations, where the activations come from, okay? Sacred Spirit reading cards and the Light Seers Tarot as well. The other thing, Capricorn, please share these videos because you just don't know who else needs these activations or these messages. Um, so that would be fantastic if you could. Okay, um, let's get started. <laughs> I'm like, is there anything else I need to do? No, there's not. Okay, so here we go. Just Radio, living light energy, see the beauty in life. Very interesting here. This is interesting. Um, I feel as though, I feel like this is talking about past lives for some reason. <clears throat> I feel like. There's been a growth, as you've gone through each lifetime, there's been something that has grown. Um, and I feel like it's, um, like this tree here, I feel like represents you in this lifetime. Okay, and this here looks like a cemetery to me. And so I feel like, throughout the lifetimes that you have had. Each time you've gone along, you've gathered your lessons and it's help you, helped you to grow and shine your light in this lifetime. Very interesting. Whoops. Let's have a look. Living Light Energy. There's a bit clumps of cards falling out, which is really weird. Here we go. One card here. What's this? Oh no, two cards. Excellent. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. Interesting. So, what's this other one? The Sun. Oh wow, yes. See, see, this is the light here, right? This is the light and this connection to the light. And then I'm seeing this here. Initially, I felt like there was something maybe that you needed to cut out of your life. But I don't feel like that with the Sun here. There's this owl over here too, <clears throat> representing wisdom, and a bat flying in the daytime, which is really interesting. I just need to keep tapping my computer because I wrote out the activations because the writing's quite small in the book, so then when it comes to doing that, I can see it better. Um... It's like the crow is, is trained. It's like this guy is the master of the crow. I thought something happened to the video then, but it didn't. There's something here. What is this? What is this? It's like the crow is a messenger of some sort. It's as though, because it's like the crow f flies off and... There's these lines here as the crow flies off. But then there's this one up the top here that's coming back. Is it coming back or it hasn't been fully... I don't know. A bit cryptic here, Capricorn. What's the next card? Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. See, here's these... Look at this. See these lines here? They're like... Oh, 
I like um, cords. See, and we've got it in this card. Do you like cords, maybe? Or the, um, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> cords, it's all I can get is cords. But anyhow, let's not spend too much time on that. I feel like this is getting into the core of something. Really going to the core of what? Tell me more about expansion. Expansion. You see? Expansion. Educate your mind and senses. How many cards is that? Too many. Expansion. Expanding your world. Because this person here is inside the world, right? And yet this person is on, on the earth actually connecting with the sun. So maybe this is something about connection. Connecting into something. There's something that you need to connect with. Um, we've got the Knight of Pentacles and we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so see... Oh, this is so interesting because I feel like when we're talking about this here and your past lives, I feel like what's happening is these are all your past lives that you've left behind. So is this some kind of connection to past lives? Maybe bringing forward these past lives. Because see, this is for me is representing the things that you've developed over your lifetime. So is it calling in those gifts and those abilities from your past lifetimes, maybe? Third eye vision, reclaim your mind. Mm, yeah, clearing out all the debris because I feel like you could connect in here. You could have co this connection and also looking at this sun card here coming down and it's actually going to her third eye here which is lit and up. So this is really about you needing to clear your third eye vision. Tell me more about third eye vision for Capricorn, please. I wonder what your activation is going to be. Oh, I'm so curious, Capricorn. Okay, third eye vision for Capricorn. Tell me more, please. Two main cards. Two cards for third eye vision. Reclaim your mind. Capricorn, reclaim your mind. Let's go. Ah, I, wow. Very contrasting energies here. We've got the five of cups. Uh, sorry, the... The Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. Um, and the Five of Pentacles feeling shut out, right? Um, there really needs to be some sort of connection here. I wonder if for some of you, you're not sure how it is that you can connect. It's like um, kind of trying to do the same thing over and over and not getting a result and expecting a different result right um and so sort of giving up and going oh i tried or I, you know it didn't work um but it's sort of like you might have tried five times but it's as though you need to try 10. interesting message um it's it's as though something needs to be unlocked within you um, and I wonder if this um, reclaim your mind is um, about sort of clearing that mind so that this connection to this heart space can be made so that you can bring through what it is that you need to bring through into your life. Okay. Um, yeah, this is really... This is very, very interesting. Um, clear and activate. Create sacred space. Oh, yes. I love this. Create sacred space, which may very well be what you need to do. Because there's this, there's this energy here of opening up. It really is opening up. 
and maybe it's opening up to possibilities of what you could have. For some of you, you may think that it's not possible to have something like this um, because this is the energy that you have sat in um, and it, it really is about, okay, okay. So if this is the energy that you've sat in or are sitting in Capricorn, then the important thing to do is to clear the mindset that keeps you in this energy to allow this to come through okay because while the door is not only shut and locked this cannot come through nothing else can come through and I feel as though you're not even actually aware that the door is there so it really is a matter of change, changing your perspective to to notice um, what op options you have around you okay um, because for some of you, it feels like you're stuck, like you're trying to you're trying to keep things together, which is interesting because this guy's holding things apart. What is that, mate? Oh, okay. So if if there's you know the possibility of combining two worlds together, right? between two people, it's sort of like this energy here is keeping that separate, okay? And I just wonder, is this from a past life? Is it because of a past life? You know, maybe you, you're you not even sure why it is that you have that in you, and it could be from a past life. So clear and activate, create a sacred space so that you can clear that energy, okay? Um... Yeah, let's have a look. Clear and activate. Tell me more about clear and activate. Clear and activate. Okay, so we have six of cups. Steep. Definitely past life, right? Definitely past life. And strength. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so we've got this growth here again. Growing into this, this wisdom, I want to say. Bringing through this wisdom from your past lives. And it could be this is what, you know, this opening up of your heart is about. Um, because, this, sorry, I see here on the strength, um, she's got a heart necklace here. And I feel like this here would be a case of opening your heart, okay, to the possibility of this coming together. Okay, it's connecting of two worlds. It's a connection between your past life and this lifetime. That's what it is. Yes, I love it. I love it. Because see here, she's human and she's part lion. And it's like this merging of the two worlds. The merging of the two worlds. Some of you <clears throat> are from other galaxies, I feel. So it's bringing that in together, you know. Wow, Capricorn, wow. Open intuition, seek clarification. See, here's the third eye again that I'm drawn to. In the heart space here, right? And this is, it's sort of like Capricorn. It's sort of like you, you'll receive the message. And you might even have this already inside of you. There might be things that you have been receiving, um, but you don't quite trust it. And it's as though it's the to, to seek the clarification as to what you're getting is already there. You don't actually need to seek clarification. However, 
I want to say that if you feel called to, you know, have a past life regression or see someone who can bring that information through for you, <clears throat> excuse me, then do that because that will just show you that, you, you know, how your intuition is actually working. And when someone says something, you'll be like, yes, I knew that. Oh, yes, I remember that. There'll be snippets of things um, that have come through that or, or things that you might have been drawn to and you've never quite known why. And it's because of these past lives. Okay, so yeah, pretty exciting. Okay, tell me more about open intuition for Capricorn, please. Open intuition for Capricorn. Tell me more about that. So yeah, seeking clarification from people who can give that to you for sure. And that also may help you connect in um, a lot easier. Okay. The moon. Yeah, because there's some things that you can't see. <laughs> some things that you can't see. Okay. But also, I want to say, play around with it, right? Um, it's, it's like immersing yourself into the unknown, really. You know, and there might be some things that you think, oh, what a load of rubbish. But once you actually connect with it, you're going to understand that it's part of you and you are part of it, right? Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know, there's something about her being under the water here. Feel it. It's the intuition. Feel it. Right? Feel your way through it. It's not necessarily about what is logical and what makes sense. It's about feeling it within. And you will know what feels, what resonates with you and what doesn't. And that will give you the answers that you need. Okay, because I think it is a matter of really trusting that in yourself. Okay, we've got the page of cups here and I absolutely love this because what this is saying here, Capricorn, is listen to your heart. Okay, your heart has all the answers. Your heart is, is an entity of its own almost, even though it's inside your body. Um, I don't know if entity was the right word, but anyhow. Um, you know, the, this this page here, he knows, he knows that there's something that belongs in his cup here and he's trying out different things, okay? He's trying out different things and, okay, what about a flying pig? You know, is that going to work? But over here, you can see that there's a heart, you know, like the hands held like that, right? In the shape of a heart and inside there is a fish. Okay, and it's sort of like, well, the fish belongs in the cup, right? Because it's like sweeping up the water and it's like, what belongs in here? And it's like a fish belongs in there. A fish belongs in the fishbowl kind of thing. Yeah, so I feel like for you, it's listening to that heart. And, and also, there's this vibration from his heart. And if he listened to the heart, then he would get the answer. And that's what I feel like this message here is for you. Ascended masters create open communication. Yes, Capricorn. Yes, this is it. Yes. <laughs> I, I, oh, getting too excited now. Um, I don't know what else to say about that card. <laughs> because, although, what I will say is, um, remember that when you connect with anything, um, you know, in meditation, when you're doing anything, always make sure to protect yourself, okay, um, so that you, you know that what you're calling in is of a higher frequency, okay, of a higher vibration. Some of you may have been afraid to actually connect in because you're not sure if what you're getting is good or not. But always protect yourself with white light or, um, and call in your guides, okay? Um, and do that to, you know, just bit by bit. You might 
be just getting used to your guides and what they feel like and what the energy is like right so these are things that you can definitely work on and that's going to strengthen that communication with them for you okay two cards please for a center bastards we have the high priestess yes connecting in again not this is the intuition right this is the intuition and um interesting with the moon here <clears throat> i just wonder if for some of you especially if you're from the galaxies go outside at night okay connect connect with the the universe connect with the galaxies okay one more wait up. nine of wands I feel like also, Capricorn, that this is going to help with this energy here, okay? Because these two energies are quite similar to me, but it's what it's going to do, it's going to help you to, to focus on what it is in your life that ignites your soul, okay? Because it's as though you've gone through maybe this lifetime sort of collecting these wands, but it wasn't really necessarily what can what set your your soul on fire. It wasn't what you were passionate about potentially for some of you. And so um, it's like it's like this feeling of kind of like oh well what's the point because you know it's pointless anyway. Um, and for some of you, it may have been that you've been trying to make this connection, but you haven't been able to, and that could be out of that fear. Okay, so make sure you're protecting yourself. Very important to do that, okay? Um, some of you may feel a bit stuck, like you can't get over a hurdle of actually been able maybe to make this connection or it could be about anything else in your life um but you see here how she can just step over this fence but it's almost like she's standing there going well i can't move forward now because this fence is in the way and so sorry tough bickies you know um but it's it's actually really looking at it for what it is okay um so yeah Okay, Capricorn, let's get on to the activation, my favourite part. <laughs> okay, so there's a quick shuffle. And then we'll split them. Okay. Ready? Ready? Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. Wow, so that's what those were about. They are cords. Cut the cords. So there's this expansion, right? Oh, I see, yeah, because the expansion can't happen while the cords are still attached. Got it. Oh, it makes sense now. Okay. Right, are you ready? So, normally, Capricorn, you would hold this card against your heart, okay? But, obviously, I can't pass it through the camera. So, what I'm going to get you to do is hold your left hand on your heart, okay? And I'm going to say a few words at a time, and you repeat them after me out loud. Okay, Capricorn, let's do it. Okay. I call back any lost soul fragments, power or light now. Any vows, soul contracts, hexes or programs from the past or present from this life or others that are not in 
the highest good of all? I relinquish now. Any power or light that I have willingly or unwillingly given away or had taken from me, I call back now. Any cords or attachments from this life or others, I release now for the highest good of all. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Let's take a nice deep breath in and breathe out again. Capricorn, come back and do this activation every day, if not more than once a day, okay, to really get that, that connection, okay, um, and really bring back those parts of yourself that you need to call back, okay. Capricorn, take care of your beautiful selves during the next two weeks, and like I say, if there's any other activations that you feel called to do go and do those as well okay Capricorn see you bye bye